nonfiction and documentary writers. It feels like you have finished a project, you're about to go into a new cycle, but you may have gotten there unauthentically, um, maybe saying a little mean things to some people, talking down to some people in order to get what you want. You may need to apologize and hum get humble so that you can move on to the next cycle. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Chris, and I help screenwriters and fiction authors write five-dimensional stories with my tarot cards. Now, before we do get started, if you would like to learn how to read tarot cards and turn the first draft of your next project into a five-dimensional story before the Astrological New Year in March of 2025, please take a look down at the description box below. I have a new offer called the 3030, where I'm going to be teaching writers how to uh, read 30 spreads to get a th five-dimensional story by the Astrological New Year. And if you start now, you'll actually get in early so that you'll actually kind of already start learning the card names, uh, and that would be helpful for you. <laughs> So we're starting off pretty good. You got the Ten of Pentacles. However, I do still think that you probably might have done it unauthentically or done it in a way that talked down to people. And the other, the rest of the cards are going to tell you that and tell you why. We have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is, I like to think of her as Lorelai Gilmore. She's very witty. She's very smart. She's very funny. We have uh, swords are our thoughts and communication and swords also are double-edged. So with this queen, I feel like she knows how to uh, take some bad news or give some bad news without hurting someone's feelings. And she's very conscious of that with it in reverse. The first thought that I got this time was just that you, there was something that was said that was not said um, nicely. We do have the moon here. I associate it with us walking around at night when we're going clubbing and nightlife where we can use the moonlight to walk around, but we still need to use our flashlights and stuff to get around. So we know where we're going. So it feels like we need to shine some light in some dark spaces. We have the justice card reversed, so something seems like something was unfair. We also have the tower, so there's been ultimate chaos going on. Probably, maybe because of what you were saying, probably something blew up in your face a little bit. Still, you got this te this ten of pentacles, so you still got the money, but I, I don't think you got it as a, at a easy expense. A promising card that you did get was the ace of wands. So the ace of wands is the beginning of a new cycle. This is the beginning of a new chapter, a new uh, passion, parts of your creativity. So I do think that you are going to be able to go into that. I just think that if you want to use your same team or the same people that you were using in order to get this money that you had here, you probably need to apologize and you probably need to do it meaningfully. And you also probably need to humble yourself a little bit. We have the Four of Cups. Um, for some reason, a lot of people are getting the Four of Cups lately. Uh, if you look at this, it's usually associated with boredom because this guy is looking at all of his cups and his boarding. He's wishing for something new, but this is reversed. So I have a feeling that you are probably anything that you want to do new wise with this four with this ace of uh, wands. You probably are OK to move forward and you probably still have it all within you. I don't know that you are going to have a team to do it with, though. Here you have the Judgment card. I like to think of this card as the Second Chance card. It looks like you are rising to the occasion. I feel like you might know you need to apologize about something. I think you might be a little scared in order to do so. Here you have the Queen of Wands in reverse. She loves attention, but I really need you to not have attention on yourself right now. You need to give someone or something else your attention so that you can, again, be a little bit, ground yourself a little bit more. And the card at the bottom of the deck that you got is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is the Apprentice card. Uh, I like to think of it more as a perfected skill. You've learned how to do things over and over and over, so it, it's basically become second nature. Because it's reversed, I think that you need to embrace your imperfections. If you don't need to embrace your imperfections, you probably need to embrace the imperfections of the people around you. Numbers that you're going to want to pay attention to are 10, 3, 18, 11, 16, 1, 4, 20, 3, 8. If you add all those up, you get 94. 9 plus 4 equals 13. 13 in the major arcana is the death card. Death does not mean death, but death means change. Something needs to die in order for something to grow. It's just something to keep in mind. It's probably you need to apologize so that you can grow into something else and use this Ace of Wands more effectively. Now, we're going to take that one step further. One plus three equals four. Four in the Major Arcana is the Emperor, and the Emperor is considered the father of the tarot. Traditionally, fathers are the rule makers, they are the boundary makers, and they are the protectors. So as you're going into this new cycle, 
I really would suggest trying to uh, create some new boundaries. Maybe you need to accept some new boundaries with some new people or even some new boundaries on yourself. Maybe you, because of all this chaos, what you were said, you kind of let some of your boundaries go. And maybe you kind of need to understand um, in order to not experience chaos next time, you need to just make sure you have those boundaries in place with whoever you hire, with whoever you're working with. You need to make sure that those boundaries are not crossed. Elementally wise, we have earth, air, fire, and water. Air is your weakest element. And I'm going to tell you to go actually take a look at the astrological signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in order to find how to bring on more communication. Uh, into your next cycle. Both of these cards, the Tower and the Judgment card, which are really big cards, are associated with fire. So one of these you probably need to replace with air somehow. I don't know which one you would want to do. It depends on what your situation is. But the chaos, maybe fix the chaos or rise to the new occasion. Colors that you're going to want to pay attention to are black and gray. I do pull three extra cards for you. The first one's rice. The next card that you got is Surprise Villain, but it's in reverse. So were you the villain last time and you didn't expect to be? So maybe in your next cycle, maybe take on more of the hero role. And this card says, send your protagonist back home. What happens? Are they glad, hurt, angry, something else? Answer the same question for your antagonist. If you would like to learn how to read tarot cards and have a five-dimensional first draft by the Astrological New Year in March of 2025, please take a look down at the description box below. There is a link to my new offer called the 3030, where I'm going to be teaching writers how to, re uh, how to read and use tarot cards using 30 spreads in 30 days. And um, if you get, get in now, you will actually be able to start learning the cards prior to that so that you can already kind of know what you're looking for when we're going through the spreads. With that, please like, subscribe, follow, and share, and happy Halloween.